Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Resizing issues. Almost all TVs include a video scaler that allows you to view videos of virtually any size and resolution. It's a system that adjusts the size of a video frame to match the resolution of a TV. As a result, your OLED TV attempts to compensate for the missing pixels by creating extra pixels to accommodate the size change. This process often results in blur, which is accentuated during motion. In this case, the only option is to play media that matches or comes as close to matching the resolution of your TV as possible. Motion smoothing. Another reason moving objects on OLED TVs appear blurry is the motion smoothing setting. Motion smoothing, also known as motion interpolation, is the process of inserting fake frames between the actual frames of a film or show. In other words, it's the process of artificially increasing the frame rate to match the refresh rate of the TV. The purpose of enabling motion smoothing is to reduce motion blur. The issue is that if you use it on a TV that runs at 60 or 120 frames per second to watch a film that was shot at 24 frames per second, the extra frames can cause blur or jitter. Sample and hold effect. One cause of motion blur on OLED TVs has nothing to do with the TV and everything to do with the human brain. Many modern OLED TVs and LCDs configure their pixels using a sample and hold circuit. This means that the TV holds a frame for 1 60th of a second before refreshing to a new frame, which is then held for another 1 60th of a second. This rate is fast enough to exceed our brain's flicker fusion threshold. However, because we expect smooth motion, our brains and eyes move to where the next frame should be. As a result, our eyes are in a different position at the end of a refresh than they were at the start, causing the frame to blur across the retinas. Adjust motion smoothing. Most OLED TVs allow you to turn motion smoothing on and off or adjust its intensity. The problem is that every TV brand has a different name for the setting. In general, you should be able to turn on motion smoothing by Go to Settings Click Picture Settings Select Advanced Settings From this point onward, you'll have to look for a setting with the word motion in it, such as True Motion, Auto Motion Plus, or Motion Flow. Just keep in mind that eliminating motion blur can create a soap opera effect. The SOE is when motion blur is reduced so much that the content becomes ultra smooth and crisp. This effect may work for some media formats, however, it may interfere with the creative vision of directors' films and TV shows. That's why turning on motion smoothing is ideal for watching sports where the ultra-smooth effect won't affect the content itself. Adjust black frame insertion. One way that OLED TVs have been improved to reduce motion blur is through the use of black frame insertion, BFI. Instead of a brief flicker, this method inserts a black frame between each lit frame, creating a smooth motion with any motion blur. Here's how to adjust BFI on your OLED Sony TV. Access Display Settings. Go to Picture Settings or Picture Adjustments. Click Advanced Settings. Go to Motion. Select Clearness. Increase or decrease the intensity of the BFI. On OLED LG TVs, the steps may be a little different. Press the Settings button on the remote. Select Picture Mode from the Quick Settings menu. Go to Advanced Settings. Choose Clarity or Picture Options. Select True Motion or BFI. Choose Low, Medium, High, or Auto. Keep in mind that these steps may have different names depending on the TV model. It's also worth noting that BFI can cause visible flickers, which can be just as annoying as motion blur. What's more, in some OLED TVs, Increasing the intensity of BFI causes the screen to dim. 
So the best thing to do is to try BFI to see if it solves the problem or replaces it with another. Try a soft reset. A soft reset is where you turn off the TV and unplug it from the wall outlet. You then usually have to wait for 60 seconds, then you can put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Performing a soft reset clears a device's internal memory of running programs, which often clears up any technical glitches. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults. Most TV models have specific instructions. If you are still having trouble, try taking a look at the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any new fixes that appear.